Hello beautiful souls, I'm Eliona Angelica bringing you messages from light. In this video, we're going to be looking into how the upcoming December full moon is going to affect you. But before we jump into the full moon energy and the card selection, I would like to give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Keen. For those of you who don't know what Keen is, Keen is a platform that provides an affordable way to receive guidance from professional psychics and spiritual advisors 24-7. The reason I'm happy to have Keen as my sponsor and to promote their service is because I use their service personally as well. And the reason I like Keen is because they have a a chat option and I am someone who does not like to call and speak I, I hate answering my phone I get anxiety when my phone rings so texting is you know it's the way I go so having an option to chat with a psychic and the best part is you can chat or call any time of the day because there is always someone available to talk to you 24 7 so on the days where you have sleepless nights and you just need an answer you feel uneasy you have a bad dream and you just need some clarity you can just pick up your phone and speak to one of the advisors there will always be someone available to talk to you if you need advice on the spot right this is the best option for you and a lot of you have asked me as well if i can just do a one question reading and i don't do things like that so you know if you just have one question or you know have two questions then this is the best service for you what you should do is once you find someone that you are used to or who you you um you feel like it's a good match for you continue using that person okay continue using the service by that person because then you build a relationship and you know your connection gets stronger it's just like you know pick a card readings when you start watching someone the first time you watch that person you may feel like ah uh, you know the messages don't really resonate with you but the more you connect the more your energy connects the more messages come up for you so it's the same thing when you meet a new psychic the more you connect to the same psychic the stronger the connection is and the, the more messages can come through so i really think keen is a good option for you to get not only an affordable but also professional guidance now keen has been really generous and they are are offering my followers a special discount when you book using my link trykeen.com slash Eliona. If you use that link, you will receive your first 10 minutes for only $1.99, okay? Remember that you have to book using my link to get this discount. I will place my link in the description and the comment section down below. Now, after the 10 minutes, the pricing will then depend on the advisor that you choose. So again, click on my link try keen.com slash Eliona to try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. Okay, now when you click on this link, you will be taken to their website to sign up. Here you will be asked a couple of questions. This is in order to match you with the psychic and advisors that will suit what you need best. So if you're looking for a psychic reading ASAP, you need some advice ASAP, you have some questions that you need answers to ASAP, click on my link and try out a reading with Keen. So again, thank you to my beautiful sponsor Keen. Now let's jump into the full moon energy. Now let's talk a little bit about the full moon, okay? So this full moon is a powerful full moon, okay? Not only is it the last full moon of the year, it is also the full moon that is truly amplif amplifying all the energies that are happening right now. December is chaotic, okay? There is so much happening here. There is just the energy of, of acceleration moving forward. And then at the same time, this is energy that says stop. You can't move forward blocks and obstacles. So it's a very confusing energy, you know. A lot of us will feel like, oh, I finally have the direction. I know what, you know, direction I need to move in. Oh, I've got the clarity. And then boom, something comes and stops. And then you're like, hang on, you know, what's the universe telling me? It's like mixed messages, right? Now, the full moon's also amplifying, you know, the changes that came through the solar eclipse energy, as well as the energy that's coming in through the Venus retrograde, okay? So there is a lot happening it's like it's the energy is kind of like propelling a lot of us forward into the path that we are meant to be on okay and if we do not get onto the path that we are meant to be on we're going to be hit by the bus okay the bus is the Saturn Uranus uh, square transit which is happening around Christmas okay the 24th of December now that 
you know, we have been hit by the energy or twice this year already, okay, around January, February, and then I think it was June, July, or is it May, June, uh, I don't remember, but it was around that time, and now we are being hit again, and every time I call it the bus, every time it comes, it stops, we get on, it takes us to a new path, okay, but if we did not get on, that bus, we did not make the life changes, okay, the, this bus is going to come again, and because it is the last bus of this year, okay, it's going to hit you, because it feels like, you know what, when I stop next to you, you don't get on, or you don't really um, see me, you don't see, you, you miss the bus, right, so if I hit you, you don't have a choice, but you know, you have, you've got, you're going to see the bus, it's there, it hit you, right, so if you do not get onto the path, then this bus is going to hit you, all right, but you know whatever that happens when when the bus hits, basically, is when the universe forces you to make um, you know choices that you haven't made. It's difficult, right? Because you have been trying to avoid making certain choices, you know, certain decisions. So when the universe makes it for you, it's just gonna rip things apart and it's gonna put you in a very uncomfortable and a very vulnerable situation. Okay, but just know that this is all happening for your highest good. All right, trust in the universe, trust in the process. You know, work through whatever that is happening, all right? If you need to grieve a loss, grieve, okay? There's gonna be a lot of losses as well because, you know, at the end of the year, we've gotta get rid of anything that's no longer serving us. It's like a release, okay? Now, I did post a little bit about, um, a post about the full moon on Instagram. So, you know, if you wanna go and check it out, I will uh, put it up here on the screen as well. And in that post, I did write about releasing, you know, releasing, um, what no longer brings you joy, releasing the negativity, the bitterness, the anger. You know, a lot of us went through a lot of traumatic experiences this year, and that was just the nature of a number five year. So, you know, we are still holding on to a lot of that dark, the, um, you know, dense energy. And so this is the time for us to release it. And I had a lot of questions asking, you know, how? How do I release this anger? How do I do it? How do I release the negativity, the bitterness, the ego? So I want to share a technique that I use personally, okay? There are many ways to, you know, work through your emotions, okay? The first thing is to understand, okay, that this, what we are living is just a story. It's an illusion. It's, a, it's think of it as we are all actors, okay? And this is a play. This is a theater show, okay? So in this show, this person's your mother, this person's your father, this is a partner, this is your enemy, this person's gonna betray you, this person's gonna love you, okay? So we come, we act out the roles, okay? And then when we are done, we bow, and when we go backstage, right? Then we say, okay, so we are done with this show, let's come up with a new story, okay? And then you come up with a new story. So if, say, in that play, Okay, someone was your enemy. When you go backstage, are you still going to be mad at, at that person? Are you going to go like, oh no, I'm not going to go out and celebrate the end of the show. You know, you're my enemy. No, because, you know, end of the day, we are all souls of light. Okay, and you know that we are all actors. But when we are in that play, we are so pulled into the emotions, into the story of what we are living. It's hard for us to let go of what, you know, all the toxic experiences right, of the negative experiences. So the best way is to always remember that when you cross over to the other side, none of this matters anymore. Because you know what, maybe in the next play, your enemy becomes your, your, um, your partner. You know, your enemy becomes your mother, your father, your child, right? So we change roles, okay? So when you have that mindset and you realize that, you know what, why am I getting so attached to this when none of this matters after I cross over? It helps you detach from that energy, okay? Now, detaching is one thing and spiritual bypassing, you're trying to bypass and, and you know, just uh, suppress everything is another thing as well. So yes, you have to feel certain emotions. We can't just say, oh, this is an illusion, so I'm not going to feel it. You still need to feel in order to release the emotions from your body because when you feel something, it gets stuck in our body. Okay, our body is like a sponge. We take in whatever that we, we feel and whatever that we experience. It's all stored in our body. Okay, and a lot of times these things is passed on through generations. Okay, so you might be carrying a lot of ancestral energy. If you have knee pains and stuff, that's ancestral and family energy that needs to be released. Okay, it gets stored in our body. So the way that I always see it is I look at my emotions as friends who have come to visit. 
Okay, and you know, we have all been through different emotions before. We have been through hurt, through grief, through pain, through happiness, right? We know what it feels like. So I see each emotion as a part of me, right? A different, a different version of me. It is a part of me, but it's a different version of me. So as soon as I feel a sudden, say, a betrayal, a pain, right? And I feel hurt and instantly I, I ask myself, hang on, what am I feeling? I don't feel good. So what is this feeling? I identify what I'm feeling. Is it betrayal, hurt, depression, sadness, happiness? What is it I'm feeling? So say it is, it is um, depression. Okay, so it's depression. I recognize that part of me because I've been in that situation before. So I disconnect and I put that out of me into a bubble or I visualize me the, the depression version of me sitting in front and I talk. I talk to that to that version. Okay, so I'm just going to use the word bubble instead of version. So I'm going to say, you know, I'll talk to the bubble. Hey, you know, um, it's been a while, you know, how are you doing? Okay, you are depressed. Why? Let's talk about it. I know. And I would talk to this bubble, right, which is the, the, the version of me, the depressed version of me. And I will tell myself, you know, I understand. I understand your pain. You know, your what you feel is valid. You know, I validate that feeling. I don't push it aside and I say, you don't deserve, you know, to go through this. I know that. But you know what? We don't need this. We don't need to, to carry this. So I want to release it. You know, after I have a long conversation and I don't just, you know, cut through like, oh, this is a ritual. I'm going to talk. Okay, let's do it. Let's pull in the light. You know, I, I take my time. I talk. I embrace, you know, I visualize myself embracing that version of me. Say, I love you. You know, I love you. I, f I understand how you feel, but you know what? I'm going to free you. I'm going to free you. Let's let you go and be free into the light. And then I see myself sitting there with the bubble there and I pull in the white light. And as soon as the white light comes, you know, that, that whole version of me, becomes light it disappears it becomes light and oops and either it goes with the light or it transforms into a beautiful light and it comes back into my body so you have two ways of doing that and that's how i look at it you know so i'll put them all into different bubbles every time they come in and i don't i don't see my emotions or whatever that comes to visit whether it's happiness or sadness i don't see it as a good or bad thing i just see them as what they are it's just an awareness of of emotions they're just emotions coming to me so when they come i am excited i'm excited i'm like hey you know you're here okay let's talk let's chat let's have some tea <laughs> you know make myself some tea and chat and i talk i sit there and i talk I close my eyes and i talk so do that that's the one way you can you know detach from the energy and release it into the light. Okay. That's just my technique. There are many uh, different techniques that you can do to work through your emotions, to release emotions. That's just the way I use. So, you know, I would, I teach things that I learned and things that have, I channel and you know, how my guides have um, taught me. That's how I, uh, I teach others. Okay. So, um, let's just look at the collective energy for this full moon. Let's see what we need to know. What's going to be the collective energy for this full moon. We have prosperity. Okay. So this full moon is opening up, um, the, the energy to bring in your desires, your deepest desires to bring, to bring in happiness and abundance in all areas of your life. So whatever that you're working towards, right, you're going to see that, that, um, part of your life prosper okay so focus on what you are trying to grow and put your energy into it nurture whatever that you're trying to grow okay a for a lot of you it is basically also growing your your yourself your growing your consciousness growing you know inner growth as well right growing up so there's um there's a lot of inner work that you have to do. You have to bring things into a balance. Um, also, I'm getting a message for someone here, um, you know, for, for prosperity. There needs to be an, there needs to be an equal um, balance of energies, okay? So if someone's trying to manifest money and you're holding on tight to your money, I've got to save, I've got to save, then it's not going to grow. So you, in order to grow, you have to be able to let go of some spend on yourself for more to come to you. When you invest in yourself, when you spend freely, you will see money coming to you. And that is just to do with prosperity for money. And, you know, so for whatever other things that you are trying to do, you're trying to achieve, you're trying to grow, invest in that. Okay. Invest in yourself. One more card here. We have 
a blessing of Mother Earth. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of um, changes with Mother Earth. We can expect to see, what's the word, um, natural disasters. Um, there could be a lot of fire element. I'm hearing fire. So the fire element might might affect a lot of us. There might be fires in certain regions. Um, okay, so whatever that needs to clear, all trap energy is going to be released. We might be hearing um, about issues about earthquakes as well, um, forest fires. Um, that, that's what the main things that I'm seeing. It's like what I'm hearing is that the fire within Mother Earth needs to reignite. And it's like she has, you know, her, her, her fire has shut off. So the sacral chakra has shut off. So the sacral chakra of Earth is located at Lake, um, it's called, I think, Lake. Titicaca, if I'm not mistaken, I'm probably saying it wrong. Um, it's basically at the Peru, uh, the border of Peru and um, Bolivia. So we're gonna see a lot of um strong energies in those areas, and also the planet that governs the sacral chakra is Jupiter. Okay, so. Jupiter is a planet of expansion. Okay, so we're going to see the expansion of a lot of areas in our life, the expansion of energies on Earth. You know, it's it's just propelling us to release what no longer serves us, to grow the parts of us that needs to grow, to expand in areas that we need to expand and to let go of areas that we need to let go of. Okay, so I think I have spoken long enough. Let's jump into the pick a card reading. Let's jump into the card selection. We have three piles here divided to group one on the left, group two in the middle, and group three on the right. So pick the pile that you're most drawn to. Then you can look for the timestamps that will be posted in the description section down below, and you can skip right to your reading. Again, we have group one, group two, and group three. Welcome group one. Let's look at your cards. So group one, you have the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Okay, this is so beautiful group one. So I see that in the past, you have had to do everything by yourself. You know, there was a lot of blocks, um, mental blocks as well. You know, you were, you couldn't see, there were a lot of illusions in place and it was hard for you to make a decision because there was a lot of karmic contracts. You know, there was a lot of things from your past holding you back, okay? But I see that you have done the work, okay? You have stepped into a new timeline. You have jumped into a higher consciousness. You have opened your mind, okay? And through this jump, okay, you have been presented with a new beginning, okay? You've been presented with a new beginning and a clarity to, to know which direction that you need to move in. You've been, you are being given opportunities and help to live the life of your dreams, okay? We have the Nine of Cups here. This is the universe gifting you your desires, okay? It is bringing you abundance, bringing you joy, okay? For some of you, it feels like, you know, like I said, you've been doing everything by yourself. The universe is now bringing someone in to help you on your journey to fulfill your desires, okay? It's like I see that, you know, whatever that's coming in around this full moon is going to bring in a lot of love, a lot of laughter, okay? Something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Whatever confusion you had, you know now which direction you're going to move in. So this is just beautiful, okay? For some of you, this could be um, a romantic relationship. Um, someone could be coming in. So let me just ask the cards if this is a romantic relationship. Um, what what do we see with this? this? What can I know about this connection? Okay, we have, this could be the one, okay? So if you have met someone, then yes, this could be the one, the one who's going to help you. There's a reason why this person's in your life, right? This is truly a turning point in your life, group one, 
there's going to be a lot of changes happening for you. Mostly your upper chakras are affected here. So, you know, getting um, intense downloads. Um, also, um, you know, your throat chakra activation. So a lot of you may be feeling like you've got a sore throat or coughing or, you know, your throat just gets really dry at night. Um, for others, it is a headache, a uh, headache. Uh, you know, around your third eye, but you're definitely, you know, moving through a huge third eye activation, clarity, whatever wheels that was put upon you, it's all removed now so that you can move forward. You can finally know, you know which way to go and what to do next, okay? Help is here. If you look at this card as well, it's like you don't have to carry this burden by yourself anymore. The universe is sending in help, okay? So if you are unsure of which way to go, the universe is now going to help you make that decision, Okay, um, there is definitely stability coming in, balance coming in. Okay, um, this is the time for you to just truly step out of the ordinary. Okay, capture this wave. You are being presented with this wave to take you to a new path. Okay, here we have crystal. And Crystal says, have faith and hope because something positive and new is on the horizon that you can't see yet. So group one, you are moving towards a new, a new direction. Okay, and it is very positive. If you look at this, the Nine of Cups, this is how you're going to feel. It's just pure joy and happiness. This is a wish come true. Okay, something that you have been wanting for so long. And it's like you were in training. That's why I feel you were in training. Training is over. Okay, so now you can finally, you know, move into the next phase. You can finally see the veil has been lifted. I see your guides have been working really hard to, to get you to this place. Okay, so I feel like some of you have done so much work on your on your personal growth. You know, so a lot of you have been studying. Um, for some of you, it is a completion of something as well. So perhaps you were um, in school, you just finished schooling, you finished a course, college, studying. Um, maybe you, you did a new course, a spiritual course, something. Okay, so I see that, you know, you are going to be shown the way that now that that phase is over, right? That you have done a lot of personal growth, a lot of inner healing, a lot of childhood healing as well, childhood traumas. And now you can finally move into a new direction and your angels are going to help you with this process okay you have been asking for for help okay and right now they are helping you okay if you look at this i am leading you to the answer to your prayer okay so listen and follow the steps that they are communicating so trust who is coming in at this time because they are truly there to help you okay we also have um let's see let's pull another card so we've got it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. So trust, you have to flow. You have to truly, truly flow. And if at any time you feel like you are unsure of which direction to move in, then just take some time, spend some time alone, okay? Meditate um, upon your desires or intention. Go back to, you know, go back to what you have been asking for this whole time, okay? What is it that you've been trying to achieve? What have you been praying for this whole time? Okay, that is how you will get your answers, okay? That is how you will know what to do next, okay? They are truly, truly giving you a lot of help, okay? This is this is just a wish and a dream come true for you, okay? Some, some, for some of you, I feel like, you know, you have forgotten about what you truly wanted, okay? So you may be confused as to what is happening now, okay? But again, you know, have faith, okay? Because um, this is what you really, really wanted, okay? You just got to remember. So if you've forgotten and you feel like, I, I'm not sure where I'm heading, what I'm supposed to do, then, you know, do some meditation, right? Um, and remember, and remember what it is that you've been working towards for so long, okay? Let's pull a few more cards here. We have Sanctuary. Okay, you're finally going to feel like you are safe. You are protected. It's like the whole earth is conspiring to, to look after you. If I look at this card, it's like, you know, all the animals are just there. And they are there to look after you in different different forms. Okay, so, the, you know, your helpers are going to come in in so many different forms to keep you safe. Because it does feel like in the past, you know, you didn't feel safe. You you didn't know your direction. Um, for some of you, it could be you were, um, you didn't have a, a place to stay. You didn't have a job, perhaps. You were looking for a job. So, you know, it's like your, your base wasn't solid. You didn't have a solid base and that was scary. Okay, so right now I see this, this opportunity coming to you. 
that will bring you safety and a, and a safe space to be in okay and then we have letting go so you're letting go of the past like i said this is a turning point there's a new beginning coming in for you okay a lot of changes and then here we have the activation because you have gone through the whole dna activation a timeline jumping you have moved into a higher um a higher timeline with, with a with a higher consciousness so things can finally change your your story can change Okay, and because you are so used to doing things your own way, your own way, you need to allow, um, you need to allow yourself to to change now. Okay, you need to be flexible. Okay, you need to let go of this this idea that you need to do everything by yourself. That you know you have to struggle. That that story is over. The new story is no more struggles. The world stands up for you. Okay, it feels like in the past you have always had to stand up for yourself. Okay, it's like, oh, no one's going to be there. No one's going to fight for you. You know, if anything happens, you are on your own, but things are changing. It's like everyone wants to help you. So a, a really good um, thing that you can do to, to really bring forward this energy and to amplify this energy and pull it into your life quicker is to do affirmations. Every day you say things like, you know, the universe wants me to be safe and happy. Everyone wants me to be safe and happy. Everyone wants to just help me achieve my goals. Everyone wants to protect me. You know, people will stand up for me. I don't have to, uh, you know, worry because if anything happens, I will have a hundred people standing up for me. My guides, you know, and, and my friends and family and even strangers will always look out for me. The universe is always there looking out for me. Keep saying things like that, okay, to activate um, this energy and to bring it into your life quicker, okay? We have retreat again, you know, along with sanctuary here. It just feels like you are finally going to feel safe and it's like you can finally put your legs up and just relax, that's where you're going to be. And if you look at this as well, right, the Ten of Wands, it's like, you know, you've got someone to share your burden with. You've got others to help you carry the load. Okay, you have been doing everything by yourself, carrying the load of the world, of your, of so many responsibilities. You've been doing it all by yourself. Finally, now, you know, you're going to have the, the opportunity for others to come in and help you. Okay, help you get to this place where you can put your legs up and just say, I am safe. I am safe. I don't have to struggle. Life is beautiful. Life is amazing. Look at that. Miracles. This full moon is going to bring you miracles. Group one. This is just so beautiful. Okay, let's just pull a few more cards to see if there are any other messages for you. Group one. Let's see. We have happiness. How beautiful. We have happiness. We have um, let's see. Oops, that fell down. We've got the moon. So there is, there are changes in your life. Okay. And things are going to move so quickly. It's like, it's like when it comes in, you won't even realize what's happening till much later. Um, and it's like your life, your, your life is changing by the minute. Okay, the clouds are lifting. It's like it's fantasy energy. You're going to be receiving miracles and experiencing experiences that will not make sense to a lot of people. Magic, that's what I feel. So you're going to be meeting people who are different. Um, it's just experiences, you know, from other worlds. So you might be making um, contact with um, other beings as well. And if you tell that to anyone else, they'll think you're crazy. Okay, so over here, you're also being asked not to settle because the universe is going to give you what you want. So ask for what you want. Okay, don't lower your standards for anything. Okay, we have January. So January is where you're going to truly see the manifestation of everything. This is just the beginning for you. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have got, okay, we have um, dealings or a relationship with a younger man. Okay. And then let me just pull a few more cards here. Just shuffle and see. I'll pull this one. We have something to do with your finances. So I would say um, just be careful with your finances. Don't just um, randomly, um, don't give up, don't borrow, you know, lend money or make any crazy investments at this time. Okay. Um, but besides that, I do see an increase in your wealth. Okay. Um, you are going to move, look at that, there is a period of 
prosperity and abundance okay you are moving away from something um also if there was something that you were trying to achieve but it was not meant for you it's like that wish is not going to be granted because you're gonna get the ultimate wish okay so trust trust in the universe um you may feel like you know you're not at one point you may feel like you're not getting what you want because some things are still um some things are still a work in progress that's what i feel so if at any point you feel disappointed right just work through your work through the disappointment and know that there's something better coming okay something better that cannot come if you were to receive what you've been wanting in the past okay you're asking for caterpillar caterpillar experiences caterpillar um things when you are now a butterfly okay let's just pull a few more cards to see if there are any other messages for you let's look at what blessings are coming your way a blessing for the right words we have a blessing for good men and fathers a blessing to find the truth okay so i feel like for some of you you may want to um know a little bit more um, so I'm just going to ask the book of answers if there are any answers for you um, You can take this time to ask a question. You can pause the video or you can just see what the universe wants to tell you Okay, so let's see we have Finish something else first A substantial effort will be required and It may already be a done deal okay so you are getting what you want okay this is a wish come true okay group one i hope this reading made sense and i hope it helps i will speak to you in the next video welcome group two so let's look at your cards so you have the three of swords the knight of cups and the two of cups okay what what beautiful energy group two so right away i see group two that you have been through a lot of heartache um you have you went through so much you know i feel when i tap into your energy you are just such a beautiful soul you have got so much of love you're so kind you're so pure so honest it's like you're such it's almost like you're the perfect person you know you're filled with 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 emotions you know you share joy you bring joy wherever that you go and whoever that you connect to you bring joy into their lives you improve their life you know you don't make things hard for people when you step into someone's life whether it's a friend a family a lover you just bring improvement into their life it's like your energy you know the energy of the goddess lakshmi that is your energy you bring prosperity and abundance into whoever's lives that you enter okay but you have been hurt so many times before you know people have made you feel like you're not good enough it's like you've forgotten who you are you've forgotten your worth for so long and part partly it's because you like I said, you didn't know your worth. You gave so much that you didn't think about receiving. It's like you were always trying to prove your worth to other people. You know, it's like you do, you overgive, you overdo because you want them to see, look at me, I'm a good person. You know, see my worth because you didn't see your own worth. So you tried to get validation about your worth from other people. And because you were constantly giving, you know, overgiving, overdoing, you didn't give them a chance to give you back. So a lot of your friendships had to end, a lot of your relationships broke because when you don't see your own worth, others can't see your worth as well. But what I see now, group two, is that you have done the work, okay? You are stitching the heart back. You have done it. You have fixed it. You have worked on yourself. You worked through the pain, the trauma. You've had this, this pain for a long time. For some of you, even since high school, this pain has been deep inside. It's like a, like a trauma buried in your heart, okay? And it's just after that, it just kept adding, escalating, and then it was just like this whole chaotic mess. But now, okay, you have finally come into this point where you went through the whole stages of grief, but you know how people go through stages of grief and moving on like within, say, a year or a couple of months, right? It's taken you so many years to finally come to that point of you know reaching anger where you're like i'm 
done. I'm done, you know, giving people. I'm done caring. And then finally moving on and realizing that, you know what? That was not, you know, that's whatever that happened was because I didn't see my own worth. I, I know that I have so much to give and there's someone out there who will give me as much as I want to give them. But I have to be open to receiving as well. So now, okay, after giving you a whole grandfather story there, <laughs> um, this full moon is going to bring in a lot of love, okay, so much of love and genuine love and genuine connections, genuine partnerships, collaborations, okay. In the past, it kind of felt like you were more in love with the idea of love rather than truly wanting to experience, you know, a connection from someone else. And now I see that coming. For some of you, this person will come um, around the full moon, okay. For some of you, um, I see February next year. So, you know, um, you'll be like in the, in the, around the 2222 mark, right? 2nd February up to the 22nd of February 2022. For others, it's basically telling you that the path to meet is now set. So it's going to happen soon. Okay. For some of you, this is a love. Uh, a lover coming in, you know, and you're going to be so happy, you know, you're going to be spoiled. It's everyone, this, this person's just going to spoil you, give you everything that you want. You know, it's like a fantasy, this dream, the dream connection that you've always wanted. For others, it's a partnership. It is someone coming in to support you, okay? And this person is going to stay for a very long time time, okay? So you are releasing all energies of codependency, okay? So there's good partnerships coming in. There's going to be an improvement of your of your old self. I see you changing. You are glowing up. You're looking after yourself. So you're going to feel this need to, you know, change the way you look, your appearances. You're going to start working out. You know, you're going to change your fashion. You're going to start um, doing things for yourself because I feel like you stopped doing it for a long time. You're going to find a good balance now between, you know, um, between your spirituality and the 3D world. Because in the past, needing to heal and needing to do all this work, you had to shut off the whole 3D world. So, you know, you stop going out, you stop looking after yourself, you know, you were constantly just, you know, just being as you are. But right now you want to tap into that excitement of living again because you still exist in a 3D world, okay? But you are with a 5D consciousness. So that's the, you've got a perfect balance here. So right now I see the energy of luxury, of um, of arts, of fashion, of, you know, beautiful things. For some of you, you know, this is a contract that you're signing. Perhaps it's a contract that's going to bring you a lot of joy. Um, So if you're trying to get a loan, you're trying to get something, um, trying to buy something, someone here is trying to buy a new car, Um, another person, you're trying to get a home. I see all that happening for you, okay? It's like... um an accumulation of assets for someone here. You might be moving in with, a, some, with somebody else, you know. So there is a beautiful, beautiful energy here. You're just being asked to tap into the energy of music, right? Put good music, feel the energy of fun, enjoyment, because luxury, that's the word I keep hearing. You're just going to be in this beautiful energy of luxury where people just want to look after you, okay? If it's a love connection, let me just ask the cards. Let me just know a little bit about this love connection. What can we know for this love connection for group two, please, okay? Look at that. Love yourself first. So you have been doing that, okay? You finally come to a place where you're like, you know what? I know my worth, okay? Here we've got keep an open mind. So this person, um, you know, whatever this thing that is coming in may differ from your usual type or expectations, okay? Whoever that's coming in now to assist you, this is a past life connection, okay? So you will feel a strong bond and it's like you've been looking for each other for a while now and it feels like you were not able to unite in your past lives but now you have finally come to a place where, you know, it's time to meet, it's time to unite. It's like, you know, how much you're looking for this person. If you're single, you've been looking for this person. This person has been looking for you as well. For some of you, if you are already in a relationship, this could be a friendship, you know, a best friend. Perhaps you don't have that special um, soul friend in your life so that person's coming in okay so there is there is this beautiful connection coming in that's going to um 
to support you you just got to keep an open mind and know that you deserve love okay you really really deserve love so once you come into oh look at that just as i said it i pulled the card you deserve love okay you are lovable so once you come into this place where you know that yes you know i deserve love and i'm no longer in the energy of um not receiving um love anymore or unrequited love you know it's like whatever that you give this person will give you back as well okay so feel uh, you know be be it's like you're opening your heart again you're opening your heart to love you're opening your heart to joy you're opening your heart to happiness you are finally coming into a place of just where you are free to express yourself some of you might be writing poetry some of you may be writing poems or songs you know and i see you pouring your heart out into this because your heart chakra is finally open okay so you can you can be optimistic okay positive um there's going to be a lot of positive energy coming into your life look at that soulmate okay this is a soulmate connection a soulmate coming in and there's going to be a lot of romantic feelings okay but you just got to work on your trust issues here okay now and this this applies to friendships and things like that as well okay because you know you have been betrayed in the past so you just feel like you know you can't trust anyone but here you know they're telling you that you can trust what is happening for you and the people that are coming into your life okay so let's see we have as you follow the guidance of your heart prosperity is coming to you now okay so follow your heart open your heart trust your heart okay and then we have you are at the end of a cycle in your life call upon your angels to comfort you and guide you to your next steps happiness awaits you now okay so you are truly going to be in a place of just happiness comfort okay inner peace you will have a lot of inner peace Okay, you are protected from all types of harm, right? You got to know that the worst is behind you now. So you can finally relax, you know, you can put your foot up. You can just, you can relax because you are safe. You are safe. So look after yourself. Okay, it's time to look after yourself again. You know, every time you feel this urge to give or overgive or overdo, you know, giving is good, all right? Don't get me wrong. But to overgive, overdo just to prove your worth, Take a step back. Take a step back and ask yourself, why Why are you doing this? Why do you need to? You know, it's like you are the one who is constantly working for them to see your worth. So, you know, give others an opportunity to prove their, their worth to you as well. Okay, allow that because it's like you're just constantly, um, constantly just giving too much okay i'm repeating myself now for some of you i i do feel like you know this person coming in for someone if you're looking to have a child um this message is that the child um you know it's it's time so either you're going to get pregnant or your partner is going to get pregnant so there is a child that's coming in and this child is from a soul group it's from a, it's a past life connection as well you know this person has been um in your life in the past maybe this person was your child in the past or this person was a a a family member in the past but they are coming in now you know to bring balance to to finally bring that balance that you've been looking for in your life to bring that to bring that happiness that love that you've been searching for okay so it's gonna happen all right group two this is gonna happen for you okay one last card here we have the angel of marriage so for some of you this could be um you know if you are in a relationship this could be um a reigniting of the passion within your relationship it's like the fire is lit again the sacral fire is lit again you know because you're finally you know your worth and you're not always doing things um you you realize that you're you're no longer angry you know a lot of you were very angry so you kind of acted out in your relationships you know although you were together but it's like you held back you know you held a lot of things back as well so i see that you know the past is being burnt away okay there's this this beautiful energy coming in that's going to you know propel you to a completely new place okay in in your life so let's look at what else is coming for marriage as well some of you have been trying for a child for quite some time now and you know perhaps that's put a strain on your marriage so you know things are going to change when the child comes in okay let's see what else we have here we have protection 
okay we have protection so know that you know how i said earlier you are you are truly protected okay we have stillness stillness so you can finally this just feels like you know calm you know looking at your, at your reflection you know knowing your worth where you don't have to be so loud and you don't have to do and and you know it's like that that chaos where you know in the past whenever you got into you know any relationship partnership friendships it just felt like you couldn't rest it was exhausting it was, i feel exhausted just thinking about how much you know you, you how much you have done and finally here it's like you see your reflection and everyone knows everyone sees who you truly are inside and you can just be you don't have to prove yourself to anyone okay we have change Okay, so change is coming into your life. There's going to be changes within your your romantic life, in your family life. There's change coming in there. Okay, you are transcending all limitations that you have set upon yourself, or what the you know what that was set upon you. The conditioning as well, you know, the, the childhood conditioning, the childhood trauma, you know, um, the childhood heartbreak, you know, the previous heartbreaks. It's like you're moving past all that. And you're finally coming to a place where life is going to be beautiful again. Okay, now let's just pull a few more cards here. Okay, let's see what else you need to know. Okay, let's see what do we need to know. So what's happening for group two this full moon? Can we get some messages, please? Get some messages, please. We have a short journey, so perhaps you're going to be traveling somewhere. Um, and it's and it's kind of interesting because when I look at this, I see that I the horse jumped out behind, right? And we've got a horse here as well. So maybe you know you're going to go somewhere. You're going to meet someone um, in a place um, that has, you know, you're going to meet this person at a place that has a horse. Um, maybe it's. Um, it's a bar that has the uh, symbol of the horse. Maybe it's a farm, you know, somewhere like a farm area. Um, maybe this place you will see a painting of a horse. Maybe this person will be wearing a, a T-shirt with a horse picture on it, you know. There's something there to do with um, a horse. So maybe you move, you, maybe you're going for a holiday with your partner to a hotel and the hotel has the, you know, has a horse name in it or something, you know, or the symbols, they have got horses and things like that. So there is something there to do with um, a horse. I do see you getting compliments from an admirer. So you do have an admirer there who is, you know, checking you out. You're going to be receiving a gift. Okay, this feels like a gift of true love. Okay, there's going to be doors opening here, opportunities. Um, uh, the opportunities being presented to you to walk through a new door, okay, where you're gonna find, you know, see life as you know, beauty again, the beauty in life again, and then we have, you will be receiving a precious gift, okay, so you are receiving a precious gift, which is the gift of your heart healing, okay, and true love. Okay, I also see stability. I also see balance. I also see completion. I also see, um, I also see this, this balance is like your other half kind of energy. Okay, if something was missing in your life, that is coming into your life. Okay, so for some of you, this may not just be, uh, you know, a love. To do with to do with your relationship it's perhaps something that was lacking you know something that you felt was not complete in your life it is finally going to be complete okay it is coming into your life now okay so i'm just going to ask the book of answers for a few more messages just to see if there are any other messages for you you can pause the video and ask a question or you can just simply you know just um, see what the book says, what the message says, and, you know, see how you can apply it into your life. Okay, so let's see. We've got the answer may come to you in another language. Okay, that's interesting. 
Maybe this person that you're going to meet, maybe they speak a different language. Maybe you're going to go to a foreign place. Okay, perhaps the name of the place that you're going to visit, um, you know, maybe, perhaps the, the, the word horse in a different language. Maybe you're going to a place and, you know, it's called Kuda or something where, you know, which means horse in, a, in, in, um, in Malay or in Indonesian, I think. Um, <laughs> so, you know, maybe it has that word in a different language there. Okay. Um, and then we have finish something else first. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Definitely. One last one. Expect to settle. Okay. So that's all I have for you, group two. I hope this made sense. I hope this brings you some clarity, some comfort during this full moon. I'll speak to you in the next video. Welcome group three. So let's look at your cards. So group three, you have the five of cups. You have death and rebirth. And you have the high priestess. Okay. So group three, I see that you have gone through a lot. Okay, you have been grieving a loss. Some of you have been going through, you know, a disappointment, a loss, a betrayal. It's a lot of um, pain. And it's like you suddenly found yourself in the middle of a reality that that is, you know, that was painful, that was disappointing. Okay, it's like you were going through the dark night, almost like a sudden return. Okay, but I see that you have, you know, been given an opportunity through that loss, okay, for a new start. Okay, so it's like the death and the rebirth, right? So there's something, you're moving into a new place. And because of the pain that you felt, that opened up a, a, a door, that you walk through as you were looking for a, for a way to heal this, to come out of this pain, to come out of the dark night. And through that, you have opened up this door and walked through into this new space. You went through a major transformation. The end of a phase while celebrating the, the birth of another, okay? This is the energy of transmutation. And this rebirth signals a beautiful metamorphosis that will allow you to expand your consciousness and move closer to your own divine essence. There is so much that has changed for you, Group 3. You know, some of you, yes, whatever the ending was, was a relationship. Perhaps it was a career path, right? But through it all, the main thing that has changed is your belief system. It's your inner self that has changed, okay? And this change was needed. It's, it's a long time coming. It's needed, okay? So continue to release, you know, anything that is no longer serving you. Cut the cords. Do past life um, clearings as well, okay? And welcome the possibility of this new. Because you are moving into this, this powerful, powerful place. And you need to really tap into your intuition, Okay, because you need to submerge your thoughts into the subconscious realms. You have this connection to a completely different world now because you have shifted timelines. You have moved into this new space. Okay, it's like you are in a place to receive what you want. There is this energy of celebration. You are truly stepping into your power now. And I feel like a lot of people are going to see this and they are going to talk about you. Okay, so try not to to be insecure, okay? Just, you know, keep doing your, what you need to do. Keep activating your third eye. Do a lot of third eye activations. Um, ensure that you are taking the right vitamins to heal your nervous system because, you know, whatever that you went through here, it did cause a lot of pain and anxiety. But you need to get your energy back because I do feel like you went through depression and that, that the energy of depression is slowly lifting, okay? So you're coming to a new place now. This new level of, of consciousness that was birthed because of the loss that happened, okay? But now you have this connection to, to all the other realms. I see a connection to the galactic beings, the connection to inner earth, the connection to the fairies. You are tapping into this this you're tapping into multiple dimensions you know it's not just one you're tapping into all kinds of things and because of that from here on you're going to be put in a in a place where you're going to be provided with comfort 
Okay, I see passion coming back into your life. You know, I see people wanting to look after you, your guides wanting to look after you. You know, keep tapping into the energy of music, of arts. Okay, that is the energy that I see. There is a, a new foundation. Okay, there's going to be, um, it's like, if you're looking at financial financial issues, I see financial matters being resolved, okay? I also see you making new friends, you know, friends who... I see new soulmates coming in, new friendships coming in. This also signifies a disappearance of, like, people from your past, you know? So you're moving into a new thing. For some of you, you may want to um, join an organization or a club or a group, right? Because you're going to be meeting destined... Um, destined connections just in soulmates and friendships okay i see i see friendships coming in for you okay so it's like your tribe okay um but you do need to make some changes in your routine here so for some of you it could be reaching out to others through like social media groups or you know finding groups online on the internet for others it could be making a change in your routine because your routine has been like you know a straight line for quite some time you need to create some dips and you know different parts so maybe going to a new cafe um going to a new restaurant maybe going to a cinema going to a play going to a gathering uh you know i do see you meeting um people at a place that feels like it's fun okay so wherever that you're going it's fun so maybe uh an event uh something that feels like a creative event okay you are now going to receive a lot of beautiful opportunities an opportunity for um rewards you know there's an opportunity for creativity for you to create more creative energy to bring your life into a balance at last you know where you're receiving everything you are connected up to the cosmos you're also connected down to the ground okay there is a reunion of you and your past magic okay for some of you i do see you moving homes as well because there's this energy of you know there's this strong landed energy as well so something to do with your your stable ground you know finding stability maybe it's your a new job a new career a new home okay there's this stable grounds there work with the fairy energy okay because i see you working with the earth energy so connect to the fairies um and you know see see if they can assist you in any way okay let's look at a few more cards here let's see if there are any other messages for you let's see what you need to know let's look at your messages can i get a message for group three please a group three we have love okay we have love and if you look at this card we have the wild rose fairy so truly connect to fairy energy okay and then we have transmutation here look at that this is the phoenix rising and this is what you have been doing you know from through your grief through your pain you are the ones who truly went into that darkness and turned it into your light you are master transmuters you are master um, alchemist that's what you are. You are a master alchemist. You know, you have done this. And I see a lot of you are going to be teaching other people how to do this too. Because you truly went into your darkness. You know, you fed it so much of love and light. And you turned it into your light. Okay? So, you are going to be given, you know, what you need. Because you've been through so much of pain. But here, you need to have more fun in life. Okay? Do some, you know, like, allow the inner child to come out and play. Okay? So, you know, do something that you enjoy doing as a child. Right? There is this period of you know growth so whatever that you are you are working towards is going to grow and if you look at that 404 you truly are coming into um a, a stable ground some of you are going to have a new growth when it comes to your work um to your career you know so whatever that i'm hearing whatever that you lose at this time is going to come back to you in a much better form because you have now the knowledge that you need to to proceed into this new path of yours okay and again this knowledge is also you teaching other people how to become an alchemist okay how to transmute negativity how to heal your pain how to work through grief okay let's look at a few more cards here let's see Are there any other messages for you group three can i please get a message what does group three need to know so here we have spend time alone 
in nature meditating about your desires and intentions ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective and then we have you are protected from all types of harm the worst is behind you now i ask you to relax and feel safe we have yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind and spiritual growth right now. So for some of you, maybe it is, you know, going to a yoga class, maybe it's going to a dance class, you know, where you will meet other people, like-minded people. Okay. And then we have not, do not jump into something new at this time. Okay. Wait or look for other options. Ask the angels to help guide and comfort you because you are going through a change here. Okay, so don't rush into anything. You are now going through a, a, a complete, you know, uh, transformation. And you are not used to this energy yet. Okay, this is something that is coming in for you very strongly. You are now, only now tapping into this power. You always had, you know, a certain gift. You know, you had a spiritual gift, but you were never truly in the high priestess energy. You are only tapping into it now. Okay, so any anything that you lost in the past, you know, um, I do see it coming back in a new form. For some of you, you lost a child or a pet. So this is a message that they are they are happy. Okay, in heaven they are well cared for by God and the angels. Okay, there we go. We've got a pet. So some of you did lose a pet. Okay, so that could have been what you know the loss, the grief. You know, moving on in life without this um, beautiful soul in your life. Okay. And then we have, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. Just like I said, you know, you are going to teach other people how to transmute darkness into light. That is one of your main purpose here on earth, okay? You will heal a lot of people through your words, you know, through your connections, through your experiences. No matter what job that you do, you will still inspire a lot of people in this world, okay? You are like like experts of you know going into the dark tunnel you're not afraid of it most people see it and they they fear it but you don't fear the darkness you know you are here to you know to change it okay you're here to bring light into the world okay let's get a few more messages here right so it says undying love the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. We have expect a miracle for Mother Mary. So I really feel like you need to connect to Mother Mary here, you know, especially going through grief, going through loss. Mother Mary would really come in and assist you in bringing in a new foundation to help you. Okay, we have Mother Earth. So again, to something to do with your, to do with the foundation, to do with your base. Okay, also work on um, healing your root chakra. That is a message that's coming in. We have transformation. So you are transforming. Okay, you are rising like the phoenix. And then we have awakened the goddess within you through dance, self-care and appreciating your divinity. So join a class, maybe go to a dance class, go to, um, you know, a place where you can meet like-minded people and something to do with arts, okay? It just feels like it needs to be a very artistic place that you go to. So not just a coffee shop, you know, it's, it's, it's more than that, okay? It's like, it's like um, a play, a theater, you know, something like that. Music, going and watching a musical. That, those are the things that I feel, okay? Anything that has this, this very beautiful, very like... Um, energy maybe some of you may want to join a goddess circle um a man's circle a woman's circle a brotherhood circle you know things like that because here we've got finding you're going to be finding your tribe okay because they're going to come in this new friendship the tribes um you know they're they're going to come in we also have animals so like i said earlier some of you have lost a pet but you know your your pet is has now become your spirit guide right and in time you're also going to adopt a pet and this this pet is going to be one of your protectors they're coming in in the form of an animal okay we have confidence so you're gaining confidence in yourself getting confidence in your gifts you're getting confidence in your life you know what to do. You've got a lot of strength here, you know, you're, because of everything that you've been through. Okay, so right now, you know, through this change, you are... Ooh, look at that. Do you hear that ding? 
So good luck. Okay. Good luck. As I was about to show you this, I heard the ding. So, you know, you are surrounded by great luck. Good luck. And your intuition, trust it because you're going to be shown the way. You're going to be shown what you need to do. You need to trust your intuition. Okay. Trust the intuition. Let's see what else we have here. We have got traveling in a new direction. So you need to change your routine. Okay. Do something different. Okay. You've, you've got to um, expand this new gift that has come in, your talents, okay, you've got to share your talents with others, you need, it's like you need to go, you need to be on top of the world, you need to be seen by the world, because you've got answers that other people need, all right, now let's look at some blessings, let's see what blessings are coming to you this full moon, what blessings are coming your way this full moon, can we get a message, we got a blessing on your boundaries, we have a blessing on a homecoming. You're coming back to yourself again, your true self. You're coming, you are reuniting with your higher self. So for some of you, your higher soul is coming in and you're going to be so powerful. It's like all of a sudden, you, you, you know, you went from victim to the emperor, you know, from becoming a victim to the person who is in power. Okay, you're, you're truly becoming a very empowered person and that's so beautiful. Okay, and some of you, it is also to do with a home, a house, a base, you know, uh, uh, coming, you know, where you are going to be celebrated. Okay, your gifts, yourself, your friendship, your love, your energy is going to be celebrated by the world. Okay, so this is just the beginning of that energy. Okay, we've got a blessing to bring clarity. Okay. And we also have a blessing of earth. So again, you know, work with earth's energy. This is powerful. Okay. Now, let me just pull a few more cards here from the tea leaf deck and see if there are any messages for you. Let's see if there are any messages here. This deck is really big, so I've got to shuffle it in sections. Oops, okay, that came out. Ooh, we've got news is on the way, bird flying. So if you haven't received the news yet, it is coming. Okay, it will come before the end of the month. Okay, can we know what news this is? Can we just get a message to see what news this is? Okay, this is going to be a news that's truly going to empower you. Okay, you're going to be receiving or giving a precious gift. And then we have, um, we've got here, let's see. Okay, so you're going to be given a lot of things. Just ensure that, you know, you keep your ego in check. Um, beware of wanting more and more and more. Beware of greed, right? That is a message there. Besides that, we have great passion, okay? And then, let's pull two more cards, okay? We have great happiness, and again, like group two, or was it group one? We have the horse. Okay, the horse talks about a short journey somewhere. So, you know, going somewhere, doing something different. Okay, a lot of you who did watch group two, perhaps you're watching uh, group three as well. So I see that the loss, you know, the heartache is finally over. Okay, anything that you went through, you know, any trouble, any accusations, any sorrow over a loss, all that is now something in your past, you're moving through, okay? You may still need to overcome a few mountains because you're not used to being in this new energy, but, you know, you will overcome everything, okay? You will create a new tower for yourself, okay? You will create a new tower, right? This is, you know, some of if you look at that, the solid foundation there, okay, and then we have the sunrise, okay, new creative ideas, and you venture a fresh start, okay, so you are being given a beautiful fresh start, and you're going to get the news about this start soon, the opportunity, or, you know, how you're going to achieve it, it's going to come to you soon, so at this point, if you don't know yet, that is because, you know, um, you are still working on, to, on, on, tapping into this powerful high priestess energy. So just trust the universe, trust the universe. And I'm also hearing group three that you're not meant to do this by yourself. So connect with the fairies, connect to, you know, the beings of, of inner earth, connect to your galactic family, 
connect to the angels, right? And give them permission to come in and create this, this, and bring in the blessings that you want and create this path for you. Okay, just tell them what you want. You're not meant to do things by yourself now. You are the high priestess. Okay, it's time for you to sit there and allow others to do things for you. Okay, you look at that. You've got number two, right? You're not meant to do things alone. You're meant to have support and help. Okay, because this whole time you have been, you know, carrying that pillar by yourself. You are the single pillar. But right now, there are going to be other pillars around you. Okay. So it kind of feels like um, you're also the, I'm hearing you are the oracle. That is another message I'm getting. You are the oracle. So that is a powerful gift to have. Okay. You have, um, you have been, oh, I'm getting a bit deep here, but in the past life, you have been, um, you have been killed for your gifts, you know, as the oracle. But coming back to this, I'm getting pulled into past lives now. <laughs> so coming back to, to your current reading, um, you need to work with others. Okay, you're not meant to do this by yourself. If you look at this card as well, she has her eyes shut. Okay, so she's not out there uh, struggling, you know. Oh, you know, where do I find the things that are going to help me? Where do I find this? If it's a job, it's a house or whatever it is, you know. You're not the one, you know, who's going to need to run and find you're just going to close your eyes and your guides are going to bring whatever people or opportunities or create the path that you need, okay? You will get what you're looking for. You will have this new foundation to grow on. You will have the platform to teach other people. You will have the opportunity to help other people, okay? Let me see if there are any other messages. Let's pull one last card from a different deck and see. If there are any other messages that you need to hear at this time, we have the law of attraction. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align with align that align them with love, peace, and harmony. Okay, so here again, you look at this, right? So close your eyes, right, and manifest. Okay, pull in, raise your vibration, and ask your guides. Okay, pull in positive energy. Ask your guides to step in and assist you. Okay, if you look at this, it's all the animals of earth all around you. And like I said, you've got a strong connection to the animals. So you're going to get a lot of um, support here on earth. Okay, it's like the whole earth is conspiring. The whole universe is conspiring to help you out here. Okay, so attract, don't chase. Attract, don't chase. The other message I'm getting is to reward yourself. Okay, you've been giving a lot of yourself. You've been doing a lot of work. So it's time for you to take some time off. Okay, and and. And make time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. Okay. We also have daydream. Okay. Daydream. Um, relax. Open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just, you know, visualize what you want. Visualize what you want and, you know, get your guides to bring it to you. Okay. And then again, we have release and surrender. So you have to stop trying to do everything by yourself. You have to stop trying to control things. You need to release control and just simply be. You have to trust the universe that they are going to assist you. They are going to bring you what you need at this time. They're going to help you through this transformation. Okay. Transformation of going from this darkness, right, into light. Okay, that's all I have for you, Group 3. I hope this helps. I'll speak to you in the next video.